Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I wanted to give you a sneak peek at some technology that we're working on right now for merging multiple photos together into a panorama or a matrix in order to get a higher megapixel count. Here I have a series of seven photos that I shot to create a panorama. Let me just kind of wrap through these so you can kind of see what this panorama would look like. To make a panorama, I'm just going to select all of these guys. I'll go up to the file menu and I'll say merge to panorama. It'll pop up and give us a preview here in the create panorama dialog. I can control what happens to the edges. I could leave it uncropped or I could crop it down so that there's no transparent areas or I can warp the edges to fill it in. Most of the time I use the warp to fill option. There's also a cool option here, which will add panoramic metadata to your photo so that when you post it online, it'll actually spin rather than be presented as a flat photo. Let me show you what that looks like in a second. When you're done, you just click the save button. There you go, there's the results. It automatically aligned the photos and blended each frame together to create one seamless panorama. The new TIFF or PSD file that's created flows through your workflow just like any other file. You can work on it in develop or effects with non-destructive settings applied to it. If you remember that panoramic metadata option that I showed you, when you share it online to something like Facebook, you can either present it as a single flat photo like this, or if I enable that embed panoramic metadata option, it actually creates one where I can pan the photo inside of my view, just like I would if I was standing there at the scene. Pretty cool. There you go. Thanks for watching.